In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple daily Bible verse template like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to all the files that I'll be using so you can download them and practice and in case you do you can send it to me on instagram and then we can chat from there now what would make this video important is that you can do this yourself and save it as a template and then you can easily be changing it from time to time without having to go through any stress so you are doing this for once and then you are going to change it as and when necessary so let's get started first thing first you're going to create a template or a size so you're going to decide on where you're going to be posting this and then use that for the size so for this case you are going to choose four by four that is because this size is suitable for whatsapp instagram and all the other social media so you change to inches and then you can set a four by four inch size and then you can click on create now the first most important thing about the whole of this is the background the background has to be captivating enough to match the scripture that you are posting in this case i'm going to go with a gradient background but you can choose a solid background as well or you can even use the image itself as a background for instance when i go to file and then place embedded i'm going to have this particular images that i've downloaded over here you realize that this is related to walking this is related to prayer this is also related to prayer and this is related to some someone pulling someone from a cliff so you can use it in scriptures like i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so you can use the images itself as backgrounds but for mine i'm going to create a gradient so let's go to the layer adjustments here and select gradients you can go with any gradient that you want but in this case i've set one for you and in case you want to use that these are the hex code so this is the first one and this is the second one of course you can change the color as and when you want you can decide to change the color anyhow you want it so after you've gotten the color that you want you can click on ok now you can use the angle here to change the positioning of the gradient so you can place it somewhere around here let's click ok and then you realize that it reflects to this side which is fine for me the next thing is we are going to bring in the background so go to file place embedded and then we are going to choose a background from here the background that i'm going to use is the walking path of feet so let's go ahead and bring this in and then we can place it over here now in many instances if you want this to smoothly blend with the background regardless of the background that you're using it is recommended that you change the color because you realize something from here if i decide to change the blend mode right from here see what i'm getting okay but then to make it blend with the background we can right click rasterize the layer and then you can hold ctrl shift and then u to desaturate the image now look at what happens when i try to blend it in so you see that we have a very perfect blending over here so you can take your time to position it at any place that you want and we don't want all of these parts showing up so we can add a layer mask to it to get some parts off so let's go ahead and add a layer mask now you're going to choose your brush tool make sure that your foreground color is black and then you can start brushing off these areas that you don't want so you can brush the parts that will make it fade in smoothly like that and then you can brush the bottom here but of course we are going to add a rectangle on top of this so it wouldn't be that much of a problem now one thing that i must emphasize on is that your background has to match with the scripture that you're reading so you can quickly go to stock image size like pixels and search for praying or the scripture something that matches the scripture that you are trying to put across or you can go to google and then search for something search for something like someone pulling someone from a pit you can also search for praying or, or i was trying to type praying images actually so you're going to have so many images that is related to prayer and if the scripture is related to prayer you can get some of these images and then you can use them 
so back to the design so we are done with the background now we can add the test to it so for the test i have it typed over here so that it wouldn't be a problem for me now inside photoshop i'm going to choose my test tool and the font that i'll be using is called akumin variable i'll put that link in the description you can download it all right so instead of creating just a test we are going to create what is called a test box this will allow you to easily edit your test and then get the positionings very well so we are going to create a test box like so something very simple like that and then we are going to paste our scripture now what happens is that if you create a test box like this you would realize that you can easily close it up like that you can open it to make it go to extend to the other side and if they are many you can also open it up over here so that the rest can show up so i think this size should be fine for me and then i'll click ok now right click on the test layer go to blending options and then i can add a shadow to it so i can add a bit of shadow very small not that many and you can do that by decreasing the opacity if it is too much it shouldn't be too much like this or something but you can keep it around this side which should be very fine and once you are okay with that you can click ok now we are going to create a small rectangle like this so you pick your rectangle too and then you can create a rectangle over here you double click on the layer thumbnail and then you can change the color also to white now click ok press ctrl a and then you can center it like that now we want to add a bit of motion to this rectangle to do that go to filter go to blur and then go to motion blur now it is going to ask you to rasterize or convert it to a smart object you want to rasterize and then you can give your motion any amount so the higher the amount the more the motion and then if you decrease it of course it is going to create a motion but very small for you so somewhere around here should be fine now we go ahead and we click ok so we are going to choose our test tool over here and then we are going to put the scripture over there now you realize that the color is already white so i want to add a bit of gradient overlay to it so i'll right click go to blending options and then i'm going to choose gradient overlay i'm going to use the same gradient that i used for the background for this one and you are going to understand this later in this video so stick around now let's click ok press ctrl a and then we can centerize it so something simple like that underneath of this we want to create another test so we will choose our test tool and then we can type something over there so daily bible verse and this can also be the inspiration behind your daily bible verse or the verses that you've been providing so you can press ctrl a and center that as well and then you press ctrl d to deselect it now let's create a rectangle here to give this whole thing a contrast so we pick the rectangle too and then we are going to create a very small or nice rectangle like that let's change the color so you double click on the layer thumbnail and then you can change the color to white let's bring it down so you push it down slightly like that and this space can contain your church information now since i don't have a church let me just bring or put my name over there so let's say you know since cable attain ministries and this is the color that i'm using for the name as well you can click ok and then ok from here press ctrl a and then you can center it as well press ctrl t to transform this slightly if you have a lot of information here you can transform it to make it very simple like that now underneath of this i want to bring my social media handle so i'll go to file inside of my resource i have a social media icons that i downloaded i'll leave them you can download it so i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to transform it very nicely like that and place it underneath of my ministry name so somewhere around here and i can come back to my ministry make a duplicate and then that is going to be the name of your ministry or your church on social media so i'm going to type innocent cable acting and by the way you can follow me on all social media handles if you type in innocent cable acting it will definitely bring you over there so we press ctrl t try to transform this slightly like that and then we can position it down here now i want to group the two the social media and then the name on the social media so i'll group that by 
holding control and selecting the socials and i'll press ctrl g to group that press ctrl a and then i can center it over here now the last thing i want to do is i want to pick my test tool come on top here and then i want to change my font type to times new roman our very own and then i'm going to put this quotation mark over there so you can put it here press ctrl a and then you can transform it to be slightly bigger like that push it here and then it is in the middle now we can select that and then we can change the font color also to white and bring it over here now you've easily created a daily bible verse flyer but you can easily turn this into a template how do you do it you can easily do this by twerking around the colors easily and constantly changing the backgrounds to fit your scripture now let me show you how if you want to quickly change the colors on these ones all that you need to do is to go to the layer adjustment and add what is called the hue and saturation you can easily double click on the hue and saturation and you can easily change your colors now you realize that if you change the colors it is affecting every single thing on the flyer that is because it is on top of all the other layers so the social media handles for instance we don't want it to affect it so all that we need to do is find out the socials and then we can send it to the very top of the hue and saturation in this case you can apply your hue and saturation your color if you don't want your color scheme to be just one you can apply your colors and then it wouldn't affect the social medias so we can also add some sort of curves to this to make it look very a bit darker so that it can actually show so something like this should be fine and i really love this color i don't know why but then of course if you want to change the background as well you can also locate the background so we go to the work path over here and then let's say our scripture is i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so we are going to find an image that matches the scripture like i explained earlier and then we can bring that in so you first of all find this particular image turn that off go to file and then place embedded and then you are going to find your other image and bring it over here of course you have to download it first so we are going to place this one here for instance and right click rasterize the layer don't worry about this it's because of the hue and saturation if i turn it off you can easily see this so i'm going to press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate this and then i can change the blend mode to overlay you see how this is working out and then i can add my layer mask to it choose my brush tool and then you can choose your test tool and change the scripture to the scripture that you want to place over there now if i come up here and then i turn on my hue and saturation this is what we have one thing that you also have to note is that if you want the hue and saturations to be working very much for you try to match your test here to the background that you use in that case it is going to make your whole work easier because you don't have to change the font color as and when you change the colors of the background and the hue and saturation and yes that we offered today's video i hope this video was helpful if it was subscribe to the channel will be a blessing thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video by the way let me know in the comment section which is your favorite color amongst these ones put in the comment section the time that it shows your favorite color and let's see thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye